Hello, Internetians! My name is Josh A.K.L. Twitter, and I am your coach of the West Virginia Mini Wars. What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the United... I'm still doing it. <laughs> Welcome back to the Ultimate Battle League. This is going to be our season number three, week number eight, Battle... or er, Team Builder. We are taking on the OP Jealousy. My boy Sohan, today in a... Well, not today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for you. Today for me. Life is good. I'm Josh. We're here. And... We're taking on the Toronto Leaf Storm. Opie Jellison. Uh, he is doing, I think, really well. I don't remember his record because I'm smart. I barely even know his team. So, I want to preface this by saying that this is not going to be a normal team builder like I've been doing for the uh, UBL, where I go in depth on all my stuff because I'm actually uh, not going in depth on all my stuff. So, so on's really good, and I definitely think that I'm going to meet his team in playoffs. And because of the matchup, I really don't want to reveal an A team versus him because I don't want all those um, potential uh, 10 out of 10 sets. Uh, da, 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 da. someone's adding me. Uh, I'm actually recording this immediately after uh, the finals for Summer Showdown. <laughs> and I just keep getting pinged. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't want to bring my A-team versus him. I want to save my A-team for later. Uh, for a potential playoff match. So I kind of threw a together team. It's it's not super ev It's not super well thought out. It's literally just six steps that I threw together and said, let's go fight Sohan. So, it's going to be a bit of a uh, more chilled out. Team Builder is going to be not as, as serious. So, uh, Sohan's team is going to consist of, hopefully it will appear on my screen right about now, his team consists of Manaphy, Weavile, Hippowdon, Z Crobat, Z Cobalion, Rotom Heat, Megalodios, Gorgive, Granbull, Selgor, and the Zangoose. Um, really good speed here. It's really offensive based team. Uh, I know he's been doing really, really uh, well with it. Manaphy's always a threat. Uh, the fact that it's not Z is really nice because that means I don't have to always run something like Z uh, Scarf Thunderous to outspeed it. Uh, I can also check it with my Mega Set Tiles, so those are both mods that can be really, really nice. Uh, I'm sure he's going to have to be careful of both of those as offensive checks to it. Uh, Weavile is really, really good against me. It just comes in. It can basically claim one almost every single time. I have some mods that can come in and check at it, but uh, 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 not always, depending on if it's banded or not. Hippowdon, I 100% expect to come. It's a really good fat mod versus me, and it can just wall my Lightning Rock. It can uh, run Rindo Baron, run Ice Fang from my Mega Set Tile. Stop my uh, Thunderous from clicking Volt Switch, etc. Crobat, also uh, one I can see really coming, just because it helps him versus my Passimian and versus stuff like my Tentacruel and my Forgus and even my Celesteela to a little bit of an extent, except not really. Uh, I can see me, I can see one of the sets that he's brought before, which is like Z, um, Z Sunny Day to come versus me. Uh, that's definitely something that uh, could be a threat. Z Sunny Day with Nats Plot and then like Sludge Bomb plus uh, Heat Wave. So I gotta be careful of that, although my tentacle would wall that if he did decide to bring it, but we'll see how that works. Uh, Zico Volume, also something that can be a threat. I have some checks to it, but I don't have anything that can outright stop it, so I have to be very, very cautious and be aware of what I'm doing and when I'm doing it, and don't uh, like keep keep in mind that uh, it could be running an Air Balloon or a Weakness Policy or something, or a Berry, Rotom Heat, or a Z Crystal. Uh, Rotom Heat, definitely Molly can come, see coming. Stop my Celesteela, unless I'm bringing Leech Seed and Toxic and Protect and all that stuff. Uh, definitely a good check to that. Definitely expect that thing to come. Definitely going to be annoyed by it. Mega Latios also expect to come. Call Mind, three attacks, uh, obliterates me. I had to, uh, it could also run Dragon Dance. I had to be careful of it because it can also run Dragon Dance and kind of sweep that way with um, something like Celesteela Weekend because uh, that means it would outpace my uh, Mega Sceptile. My Mega Sceptile could be an offensive check to it because of Dragon Claw and stuff. Uh, Gorgeist, uh, eh. <laughs> Not too afraid of it, but it could come as a way to check the Porygon Z. Gramble, um, mm, not really sure that's going to come, but it can as an Intimidator and stuff like that. Heal well, Claire can support. Zangoose and Selgor. Uh, Selgor actually can, can see coming just because it can put up the hazards versus me. And those are very annoying. Although I do have some decent removers versus that, uh, it can still be a nuisance. And then, of course, Zangoose is there as a breaker, which I don't think is coming. Not when I have a Celesteel plus um, Steelix, which would just stop it um, almost completely outright. So... Uh, that's gonna be his team. Let's get into what we're bringing. First one we're gonna be bringing is gonna be a Celesteela. It's gonna be Autotomized, Acrobatic, Stone Edge, and Lee Seed. Um, this set, uh, me and CJ basically just threw a bunch, like, like I said, we just threw six sets together and just said, let's go. This set, he came up with Autotomized, Acrobatic to be really good for him. He has no good flying resist outside of the, um, Rotom. Everything else gets hit. Uh, either neutrally or super effectively by Acrobatics, and that's a very strong move versus him. It also doesn't get weakened by Autotomize. Even though Heavy Slam doesn't always get weakened by Autonomize because of how fat Celesteel is. But Stone Edge is there for the 
uh, Rotom Heat, and this could potentially be a win con like game. Uh, I kind of wanted this to win late games, get all six kills, so I can feed Celestia kills and make an MVP. Uh, the speed allows it to outspeed um, a Selgor at plus two speed. Lee Seed is there for the last move because I didn't really need anything else, and I didn't think Sub would give uh, he would give me any sub opportunities. So I went with Lee Seed just to stay healthy because I'm not gonna be running leftovers uh, one because leftovers uh, are mainly because of uh, acrobatics, and I don't expect uh, uh, leftovers to be knocked off unless I try and switch in on Weavile, which would be detrimental because I could lose my Celestia that way. Uh, we're bringing Porygon Z with Normalium Z, Agility, 3 attacks, Dry Attack, Hyper Beam, and Ice Beam. Nothing too uh, crazy from what I've been bringing. Uh, it's a brainless set, really. Ice Beam is there for the Gorgeist and even the Latios if I want. It's stronger than Dark Pulse or Shadow Ball, so I'm bringing that. Uh, Z Hyper Beam is really good. Uh, modest, Max Special Attack, Z Hyper Beam versus an Uninvested Cobalion is going to be a KO 15 out of 16 times. He needs a Mineral for him to survive. It's absolutely ridiculously strong. Porygon Z is stupid, fucking strong, and Cobalion just doesn't have the great great spit death. Normal Sam's really good versus him. His spit death mons uh, don't really want to take this thing on, and if it can, it won't take repeated, and it definitely won't take a normal MZ, so. Uh, I can look for this to be a good late game cleaner as well. The speed is going to allow me to outspeed a me Mega Latio, so plus two, and uh, so I can basically take one hit if it's a, like Dragon Dance, maybe, I think, and then uh, agility up, and then smack that thing with a Z Hyper Beam, and then it'd be faster than everything and be a threat. Uh, we're bringing Rocky Helmet, Steelix with spit death, uh, just because physically I'm already going to be checking basically anything I need. Stuff like the Crobat, stuff like the Cobalion. Not really the Cobalion because it's a fighting type. But um, Grand, uh, Grand Bull, Zangoose, I can check all those just with uh, not much Fizz Def. So we're with a bunch of Spadef to help me handle the Latios a little bit better as well as a potential um, spe yeah, special Crobat, which is nice. Uh, Stealth Arc Roar, Iron Head, and Earthquake Dual Stab is just really good against his team outside of the Rotom, but hopefully I can take that, get, make that thing take rock damage and just roar it out. Overall, Pretty nice mon versus this team. Pretty standard. Like I said, I'm not going too crazy with the EVs. This uh, EV spread, it does not actually mean anything. I literally just said I wanted so much attack and just threw some HP in there. I just said, like, I literally just made it numbers that I wanted to see. So this this actually does not this does not mean anything. Like, all, the speed means something. Uh, anyway, we're bringing the Salt Vest Florgus. This is one set that I knew I wanted 100% because the Salt Vest Florgus can actually do a lot of work versus this team. Uh, Manaphy at plus 3 does not 2 KO Florgus with this, and Giga Drain will uh, allow me to beat the Manaphy 1v1. <laughs> uh, but this is going to also help me with the versus the Latios if it's not a Calm Mind set, because Moonblast will be doing a lot of damage, and even still, I have to, he has to be Calm Minding up before I hit Moonblast. Because if he tries to Calm Mind up in front of me, like he comes in on, uh, he comes in after something dies, and then tries to click Calm Mind, Moonblast into another Moonblast is going to obliterate that. Uh, shout out to Florgus. Um, Psychic is there for the Crobat, Hidden Power Rock is there for the... Uh, Rotom, I'm really mad that, uh, I can't, like, I could just run Hidden Mountain Rock and give it a Psychic, but then Crobat could roost on me, and then it wouldn't be doing any damage. Uh, but I wanted to get rid of Psychic for Grass Knot, so it would do more damage to the Hippowdon, but, I mean, it is what it is. I don't care if Cobalion tries to come in on me, click a Moonblast, because that thing is not going to want to take a Moonblast. It does, like, 70. Uh, we have Scarf, Thunder, Asterion, Thunderbolt, U-Turn, Defog, Focus Blast, Focus Blast is there for the Weavile, Focus Blast is there to hit the Rotom pretty hard. I don't know why I clicked Focus, why did I have Focus Blast over, like, Sludge Wave or Grass Knot. I don't know. Anyway, he was just there. Uh, basically, I plan to get rid of Habout on other ways, so I'm not too worried about that. This game, when they, they win the game, if I torch that Habout on, it's also there to check stuff like the Crobat, like an SD Cobalion. If it's three attacks, it can check something like the Manaphy. If I have him take too much damage, it can check something like the Thunderous. The Thunderous. I'm Thunderous. I'm Josh. That's Thunderous. Weavile. If it's not weakened, it's out of right ice shot range. It can um, do that. But also, it has defog just in case I can get that off uh, at any time because hazards can be really annoying. I don't think kind of cool with the bring because it kind of is set up fodder for stuff like Manaphy, which is not good because sub Tableau Manaphy is a threat. So, U turn over Volt Switch so I can uh, U turn out on the pad on and drop in something like my Florgus on that. Uh, and then finally, we have a Ratchet set. This is going to be sub-SD, uh, sub-Toxic Lycan Rock, Acelor Rock, and Drill Run. Acelor is really good because it revenges the Weavile, revenges, revenges the Crobat, the Rotom Heat, the uh, Acelgore, even the Zangoose. Anything really can be revenged by Acelor Rock because it's max attack and it's Stuff Claws boosted. Drill Run is there mainly for the Cobalion, but can also do a little bit of damage with the Hepowdon. This is why I, I got to be careful of weakness policy because the Cobalion can live a Drill Run, and that would not be very good. But if I'm behind a sub, two drill ones, I think we'll take that thing out. And I won't have to worry about the weakness policy unless he rock polishes. And even still, he'd have to break my sub first. So, that's going to be the team. Sorry for such a quick builder and everything. But that's going to be the six month that I'm bringing versus Jelly, who um, 
I will be facing, you will see me facing tomorrow, but I will be facing actually in a few minutes. And I believe, I hope, I pray that this will be on Wi-Fi. I think I have a solution that I can use to get my DS to let me play a freaking Wi-Fi game. I hope that'll work. If not, um, I'm really sorry. And then we'll just see what happens in the future. But that's going to be that. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the battle. Peace out.